Hello guys, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching the video. In this video, we want to learn how we can install OpenLab on Ubuntu. But before starting, let us briefly explain what uh, OpenLab is, what kind of structure it has and why we need it at all. A lab states for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. And as, it, as its name suggests, it's a lightweight protocol for accessing directory services. LDAP um, has a DIT structure, directory information tree. On top of this uh, structure, you can set your domain and under that uh, you can define your organizational units, your groups, your users, documents, and whatever you have in your uh, organization. The LDAP information model is based on entries and an entry is a collection of attributes that uh, has a globally unique distinguished name or in short form dn and um, uh, we use the dn to refer to an entry and why you need LDAP in your organization, of course, if you want to manage, to store, and uh, to access the data centrally and based on the standard methods. So you need LDAP, or we would say you could also use LDAP. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so this is a basic understanding and definition of uh, Open LDAP, but uh, if you want uh, to know more about Open a Lab, you can open your browser and just type Open a Lab, press enter. And after that, we have this URL here, https colon front slash front slash www.openalab.org. Uh, this is the official website of Open a Lab. Uh, you click on it. And after that, you have some options here and you go to, um, you can go to open a lab admin guide. You click on that. And here in this table, you have the um, administration guide for uh, each and every version of open a lab. And here is the last one. You click on it. And after that, you have the documents and the contents about OpenL Lab. You see that here there are too many options uh, about LDAP and um, um, you can here find any information that you want about LDAP. So now let's um, go and install OpenL Lab on Ubuntu. The installation is not uh, difficult. Uh, you have to install um, a packet and reconfigure it so that you can have your um, own configuration. Uh, Open a lab um, um, is in the form of Ubuntu packet. So uh, for installing Open a lab, um, I would suggest you that you uh, that you first make the sudo apt update. <clears throat> and after that, press enter and after that, upgrade of the uh, upgrade of the Linux repository. Yes. Uh, I don't do it because I've already done it. And after that, you can um, install open and that. And of course, any likes or comments or subscribe from your side will be truly appreciated thanks a lot so after updating and upgrading for of uh, linux uh, repositories and packages you run this command sudo apt install sla pd and after that a lab minus utils <coughs> sla pd uh, itself um, is an LDAP directory server that runs on many uh, different platforms. So it will be the command 
for installing open lab and after that you just press enter and the password of this user again enter and after that we type y for yes and press enter and wait until it will be installed so now we have to give a password for the administrator and you see here it is the admin entry in your uh, lab directory so uh, i would um, suggest you to give a very good password here i set my password after that i press enter and here we confirm the password one more time and press enter and the installation goes further and we wait until it will be done so now the packet is installed but uh, we have to uh, configure these uh, mm, default settings so that we can have our own settings for that you run another command but here i just clear here okay after the installation of the packet you must uh, reconfigure the default settings and for that sudo dpkg it's a debian package we configure sla pd and i press enter um the first thing that um, you have to answer is uh, here it says if you enable this option no initial configuration or database will be created for you so of course we need uh, initial configuration or a database so here we select simply now and we it is by default now we just press enter uh, we go further here we have to give the domain name our domain name uh, in this case I will select example.com and of course you have to give your own domain name I press enter and after that you have to give the organization name in this case it will be example for me and in your case the name of your organization I just press enter and here the admin password press enter one more time press enter so now uh, do you want the database to be removed when slapd is purged of course not we don't want it so we just let it as it is and we uh, press enter we go further here um, it will be asked if um, the database uh, must be moved all database must be moved we say yes by default it is yes we just press enter and you see that okay now um the uh, open lab is installed and uh, now we can check if the uh, everything is okay and it works as we want for that there is a command sudo tree etc and a lab and slapd.d and after that i press enter and if you get this directory structure it means that um, uh, ldap is installed on your machine and you can configure now you can use um, there is a tool for managing open lab in the next video i will install this this tool and i will show you how you can use it for managing open lab or you can use the uh, data in uh, ldif format but i would not suggest it because it will be and this in time consuming and um, uh, difficult if you have too many organizational units groups and users in your organization but in the last in the next video we will talk briefly about 
these two methods also. Um, okay, guys, now, as I said, Open a Lab is installed on your machine and you can configure it. Thanks for watching. That's it.